So if ever there is a particular delegate who raised a point of information, before you answer, you can always, you need to ask the chair for right to reply, Mr. Chair. Is a motion? Motion for a right to reply. So before you answer the particular question or pending question set for you, always ask for a right to reply. With the right of reply granted by the chair, then you can always answer the pending question. For suspension is proposal to suspend the debate, and for this candidate, someone a delegate, then we'll explain this. Okay, uh, this is where Ryan and I. This is where Ryan and I would always fight, especially as a motion to summon a delegate. When you decided to be a delegate in the General Assembly, you also have to know what are the topic agendas being tackled in the Security Council. For example, the Security Council is not talking about the Syrian the, the refugee crisis. And by chance, you are the delegate of Syria. You have to know what is currently happening because the, the Security Council committee can always summon you to their committee and ask and answer the questions. This is an example. An example in University of the East Modern Nations. I was a delegate of Japan that time. Currently, to the west of Japan, who is the enemy of Japan? Please answer me the country. That delegate is present right now. Enemy, enemy, arch enemy right now because that certain country is practicing inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. North Korea. What's the full name of North Korea? DPRK, Democratic People's Republic of Korea. These are the kind of things you have to remember in the MUN. How so? For example, that's the Security Council topic. The delegate of North Korea at that time in UEMUN was summoned. So, Japan, that was me and the delegate of North Korea, we had a fight, a diplomatic fight naman. Dili na subagay. Whenever the delegate of North Korea would give a speech, I always say, Grievance, 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 or shame, shame, shame. That's what I said. Why? Inter inter intercontinental ballistic missiles were aimed to eastward. That was towards, geographically speaking, towards Japan. So, always be prepared to be summoned to the Security Council because that's the only committee who has such power. And that is why Ronnie and I are always fighting. Yes, because I always be part of GA and SC shall always. Beautiful politics. So there is an um, Ateneo de Davao in Model US that was my first MUN, I guess, and I represented Russia in the SOCUM. So SOCUM is, SOCUM is um, a committee that time, and then there's, what's the topic we discussed? Uh, security Council. So the Security Great. Council, yeah, the Security Councils need to summon Russia because they have questions. Yeah, regarding Ukraine. So by that time, I was supposed to be someone. However, we are in a crisis situation. And remember, if we are in a crisis situation, it is a high level of discussion. So always, kind of, you are always an urgent and prioritize for the um, crisis situation so that you can, um, like, put the example the issue is kind of bombing. You can always solve the issue and put the place back in peace and order. So. Points here are the some of the points that usually get used. 
point of order means a query pointed to to the concerned party with regards to the error or procedural matter. So if ever there are specific delegate who raised a motion which is out of order, or let's say it's not applicable for the right time, then a chair will ask a point of order delegate the, that's against a procedural matter if it is applicable na procedure. And then another is point of parliamentary procedure. It means that a query addressed to the chair on the procedures of a committee sessions and how to continue with the debate. So if you're quite unsure what's the next uh, what's the next activity or what's the next thing to do during the debate, you can always ask for point of parliamentary procedure so that the chair can suggest what to do next. Point of information is POI. If you wanted to ask a specific question for a particular delegate, you can always raise your point. Mr. Chair, the delegate of Russia would like, a, Mr. Chair, delegate of Russia would like to request for a POI to the delegate of New Zealand. So if the point of information is granted by the chair, you can now ask the delegate of New Zealand about his or her speech. So. And then if the delegate of New Zealand would like to answer, he or she must ask for a right to reply. The Mingo the chair ga grant the delegate so you can answer the tayo. So wait for the right to reply to be granted by the chair. Ya ka mag answer sa POI of the other delegate. Point of grievance, yeah, earlier. So point of grievance. So another point is if you wanted to go to the bathroom or the CR, don't trace it like verbally in the entire committee. So you can always, yeah, because CDO MUN, someone raised the motion to go to the CR, like publicly raise it in the body. So you can always um, create a note and then submit it or let the note passer take it to the board of diet. So mag ask out permission for the chair if you wanted to go to the CR during unmoderated cocos. But Moderated caucus, it's either for the chair to decide whether you're allowed or not. So, yes, yeah, siya, POI. 